हेलो गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो यू हैव सीन अबाउट दिस माय पाइपलाइन राइट आई क्रिएटेड दिस माय पाइपलाइन सो व्हिच इज अ एक्चुअल डिक्लेरेटिव पाइपलाइन कोड व्हिच आई क्रिएटेड सो इन दिस यू हैव लर्नड अबाउट दैट हाउ क्विकली यू गाइस कैन गो एंड जस्ट क्रिएट अ पाइपलाइन स्क्रिप्ट बाय यूजिंग दिस पाइपलाइन सिंटैक्स थिंग क्लिक ऑन दिस पाइपलाइन सिंटैक्स एंड यू कैन जनरेट दिस पाइपलाइन सिंटैक्स डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम विदाउट राइटिंग एनी कोड सो लास्ट क्लास यू हैव सीन that i have generated this automatically right so now next next thing uh, what we can learn about is that about this script file because see suppose for example this uh, by this jenkins portal uh, four five people have access to this jenkins portal right and if accidentally if something is being removed for example if i am accidentally removing something and applying it and saving it okay and if i will run it and it will not work right because there is a issue in that because i have changed something see it it has failed i have changed something and and it it has failed right so so there is no tracking and all is there in this so so that's where jenkins uh, this jenkins declarative pipeline comes with another option where you can pull this from scm source code management tool you can use it you can pull it from the uh, any source code management uh, like tfs github or any anything you can use it so today's demo what we will see i will put this pipeline code in a github one of the github repository and i will use it from there now i will i, I will no need to write it in this in this job okay i will just pull it so for that i need to go to my github account and i need to create a repository so let me log in into my github so i have already logged in so now i will create a new repository i will click on this new repository i will just give my jenkins jenkins okay i'm just giving this repository is my jenkins okay public i for time being i'll just make it public if i i don't have to give credential so that's why i'm keeping it public and that's it i created a repository so my repository is now created now what i have to do so jenkins comes with one of the concept called jenkins file so you can create a jenkins file okay what is the file jenkins file j capital n k i n s jenkins file this file you have to get no extension nothing only jenkins file you have to create it okay so so i will just create a jenkins file here okay i will give here j capital and jenkins file just see j capital and others are in small case okay now what i will do i will just paste my whole code whatever i have written it here right i will just paste my whole code inside it here basically i need to just commit one uh, jenkins file with this content okay now <coughs> i will commit so this my file is now committed in the main branch okay just remember main main branch okay and <coughs> jenkins files is created now i can see the content see my jenkins file it has this 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 contents right <coughs> now what i have to do in my pipeline i will go into this my pipeline <coughs> i will delete all those things i i don't need i i don't need now right because i have put it in this one i i will go in the drop down i will just use this scm and in scm there are options are coming so since i have just installed git plugin in my jenkins so i i am seeing this git option only in case tfs cvs is required we can use that also so git what i have to give i have to give the same repository url right where i have just uh, this one so this is my jenkins uh, url right or or what you can do it here you can just go here your repository is right you can just go into the list you you will get this this one right you can just copy this link address and you just paste it here just ensure dot git you have to put it okay 
now this is your grid repository credentials are not required since it's a public repository now branch you remember branch is main branch no no master branch so you just give it as a main okay main branch you have given that's it other things it will automatically take see script pass jenkins file right it will take automatically we don't have to do anything now just apply it and save it so just to see here in in our job see nothing is there see we have just only these things are there this is jenkins file will come from there now i will just go and uh, just do a build now we'll see you see it is trying to get there okay see it has taken this file and git pull source code has also done oh it's a success so you can see here uh, console output also you can see see it has taken that file jenkins file from there and it's a successful now what i will do so what i will do see as you can see i cannot change anything here now right uh, developer if developer can come here they cannot change any pipeline related code here so they don't need to touch this okay or we can protect this job also so that because there is a developers and any uh, any devops manager is not required here to do that so what uh, what i will do here i will go inside my this jenkins suppose i want to add some few more stages and all so i will go here and i will just rename it actually see actually see what i will do see here is a pull source this is a build build and then this is a release okay this is a release okay now i will add one more stage in between i'll just copy i'll just copy this and before release i just want to add one more stage called testing testing stage this is my testing stage so i will just put uh, instead of hello world i will just give testing completed testing completed release done release done okay and i will commit this so basically developer will commit there from their workstation and they will push to this git repository whenever any changes are required right so now <coughs> i'll go here my pipeline okay i have not changed anything here i will just do a next run so next run we'll see what will happen so you see build source i have changed this stage right so now see it began build source testing also came release and everything now it is it is being picking from that uh, this jenkins file from 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 that uh, git right so that's it from this video i hope this is very useful for you uh, whenever you are designing your uh, devops process and all so keep these uh, things in the mind we'll come up with next new interesting topic in next videos please subscribe my channel so that you will get always uh, this uh, latest updates and all very quickly thank thank you everyone for watching this